Hey guys. <clears throat> Ooh, let me move the uh, I almost called it a telephone <laughs> my microphone. Let me move my microphone closer so you can hear me. Um my name, I never know how to start these. I always feel it's super awkward. Um my name is Sunny Brigham. I'm a board certified clinical and integrated nutritionist. Uh I have a master's of science in clinical nutrition. Um I make odd hand gestures and I move around a lot, so you have to bear with me. Um, if this is your first time joining me, welcome. Uh, and if you are a repeat visitor, hey. Um, oh, that was super high pitched. I didn't like that. Anywho, so tonight we are talking surviving the holidays because Thanksgiving is in what, two days? It's Tuesday, right? So Thursday, two days. Um, usually I'm all over the place and very scatterbrained. Tonight it's so much worse. I don't know why I've been super scatterbrained all day today. So <laughs> it's going to be fun getting through this one. Um, if you are watching live or even watching after the fact, go ahead and post your questions in the comments below. And uh, as I proceed forth, I will uh, answer them as I see them pop up. If you are watching after the fact, I will. I do monitor the comments, so I will um, answer those questions as they come in. Um, so I do have a kind of festive shirt on tonight, maybe a bit early. Um, kind of like the Christmas music. I love Christmas music, but it is a little awkward that they're playing it before um, before Thanksgiving. Usually, like the radio stations crank it up right after Thanksgiving, like the Friday after Thanksgiving. Uh, but it's been on here in the DFW for DFW area for I think like a week and a half, two weeks now, something like that. So they started it a bit early this year. Otherwise, I typically typically love, um, it's my husband's favorite word, um, love Christmas music. Okay, so holidays are upon us. Thanksgiving is near. Uh, Christmas is soon after. And what comes with all of that is food and lots of it, lots of yummy, tasty, mouth-watering foods that we wait for all year long, or maybe we don't wait for all year long, but we uh, really look forward to this time of year because of all of the um, foods, um, all of the turkeys and hams, if you're into that sort of thing. I do like tofurkey is my sort of thing, um, but still all of the side fixes. <laughs> Sorry, the dogs are cracking me up right now. All of the side fixings like, uh, green beans and mashed potatoes and those sorts of things. So we kind of look forward to, I mean, Thanksgiving is all about the feast, right? So we look forward to the feast and eating the foods. And so what this blog is and what this Facebook Live is tonight about is how to navigate um, all of these feasts without being like overly concerned about how much weight you're putting on, those sorts of things. So let's kind of be, let's, let's talk about one thing. So... Uh, never weigh yourself after Thanksgiving meal because typically those things have a lot of sodium in them and nobody is going to get gain, you know, three to five pounds of fat overnight. Um, it takes to gain three to five pounds of fat. You're talking like what's 35 times three, I don't know, 7,000, 14,000, something like that calories, excess calories. And I would like to meet the person that can, can consume 14,000 calories in one day in order to put on that three to five pounds of fat. So usually that initial weight gain is just water weight. So if you go back to your normal eating style within a couple of days, it will come back off. Um, but I probably would not weigh yourself right after unless, I mean, that's you're just glutton for punishment at that point. Um, so Usually when these this time of year comes, we're really focused on, are we going to gain weight, all the goody foods, you know, all the going to families and friends and um, the luncheons at work and meals and, and leftovers. It's just food, food, food all day long, all week long, um, and usually like mid-December through the end of the year. And so we're going to talk some tactics on how to navigate so that you don't have to worry about putting on the 10 plus pounds by the time that um, you know New Year's Eve comes around, kind of how to survive without feeling um, like you indulge too much, but also without feeling guilty about it. So first things first, if Thanksgiving is in two days and you are only having one Thanksgiving meal, that's it. 
So you're not going to friends, you're not going to family, you're not having, you know, Thanksgiving on Thursday, and then you're going to go to a family's house on Friday, and then friend's house on Saturday, and all those meals are going to kind of one, you know, holiday turns into three meals. So if you're just having the one meal, the one holiday, have it, enjoy it, indulge, enjoy all the wonderful tasty treats that come with it. Um, it's just one meal. It's one meal out of 21 that you eat in a week. So enjoy that one meal. Don't feel guilty about it. Have all the tasty treats that you've cooked, but confine it to that one meal. So don't let Thursday roll into Friday, roll into Saturday, roll into Sunday. Keep it to the one meal. But if you are, you know, you have a lot of friends or you have a lot of family and you do go, you know, to several houses over several, you know, several days, then these tactics and ticks, ticks, these ticks and these tips and tricks definitely can apply to you. Um, so the first one that we're going to talk about is eat before you go. I am guilty of this. Um, I don't do it anymore, but I have done it in the past and I know a lot of people do it. You wake up in the morning, you start prepping the foods, you know, you're going to eat maybe early afternoon. Like most people, I think eat Thanksgiving meal between like two and 5 PM, something like that. So you abstain from eating the entire day because you do not want to ruin your appetite. You want to ensure that you don't have any food so that you can focus all of your calories on that meal. But what you're doing when you're abstaining from that food is you're actually shrinking your stomach smaller and smaller. So you end up eating less when Thanksgiving comes around anyway, when the meal comes around anyway. So eat like you normally would that day, enjoy the dinner like you would if you were eating out, you know, your a treat meal a week or something like that. Um, but make sure that you're consuming normal food throughout the day. So the first thing to do is eat before you go. So if you are going to several places or even if you are going to somebody's house for Thanksgiving, so you're only having one Thanksgiving dinner, but you are not hosting it. You're going to somebody else's house. Eat before you go. Have a small meal. It doesn't have to be a big meal. Have a small meal. Have a snack. Have something that's going to take the edge off before you go. So that once you get there, you're not grazing on the uh, fruit tray and the um, snacks and cookies and things that are laying around. You're nice and satiated and you're okay until dinner time. And then when Thanksgiving meal is served, then you can indulge in all the goodness and eat, but you have just eaten so you won't be able to go overboard. You'll have a little turkey or a little ham or a little tofurkey and some sides. Maybe you'll have just one plate instead of three. Uh, you'll have one sliver of pie instead of three. Um, it's okay to indulge in these things, but eat before you go. It'll help take the edge off so that you're not consuming too much when it comes to Thanksgiving. Uh, practice mindful eating. So this is a big one. This can be if you're just having one meal or if you're having 12 holiday meals. So practice mindful eating. Um, there's a couple of different approaches to it, but basically mindful eating is being in the moment when you're consuming that food. So sitting down, having a discussion, not watching television, not playing on your phone, not standing there, making sure that you're sitting at a nice table or, you know, at a card table or wherever you happen to get seated, um, but make sure that you sit down. Um, chew thoroughly, so nobody's going to take the plate from you. It's not going to magically disappear. It's not going to self-destruct in five minutes. The plate is there in front of you for as long as you want it there in front of you. Take your time going through the plate and chew thoroughly. Um, if it's a strong or tough food, chew it 25 to 35 times. If it's something looser like mashed potatoes or something like, or a green bean casserole, it's hard to chew that 25 to 35 times. But make sure that you're chewing your food thoroughly. Putting it in, chomping a couple times, swallowing this big mass down the throat. It's not good for digestion. It's not good for your belly. Um, and it's going to fill you up pretty quick. So take the time to chew thoroughly um, when you're consuming your meal. Uh, and like I said, sit down. So sit down, enjoy the food. Put the fork down in between bites. So take a bite, put the fork down, enjoy it. Enjoy the experience. Enjoy being there with friends and family. Um, but like I said, nobody's going to take the plate from you. So take it slow. It will also prevent you. You can mound one plate and take your time going through that. It, it will prevent you from getting a second or a third or a fourth. And it'll leave room for, you know, pies. So that at the end of the night, you're not having to unbutton your pants or roll them down or relax or go into a turkey coma. You're able to enjoy the rest of the day. Um, let's see. Check your plate. So you can always start with a smaller plate. 
So if you uh, are afraid that you're going to go overboard, most people have a veggie or a fruit tray or something like that out at before Thanksgiving dinner. Not everybody, but most people do, especially if you're going to somebody's house. If you're going to a hosted meal, they'll probably have some something for you to nosh on before the big meal starts. And you'll have this tiny plate and you can load up you know, your vegetables or your fruit, hang on to that plate and use that plate for your meal. We don't need those big china trays with the eight pockets in it that you can kind of fill everything in. It's okay to have that plate. So it will help with the mindful eating because you'll slow down, you'll eat. Getting up and refilling that plate is okay and coming back down and sitting and eat some more. You'll probably eat the same amount if you had just one large plate, but you're gonna fill up and you're gonna feel satiated quicker because you're getting up you're walking away, you're taking the time to allow the belly to process the food that's in there, for the hormones to kick in, for the um, leptin to say, hey, you know, we're kind of getting topped off on here, you might want to slow your roll a little bit. Um, so slowing down, so check your plate, make sure it's a smaller plate, you don't need the biggest plate they have to offer. Um, eating slow, chewing, putting your fork down, all of those are going to be really good as far as helping you minimize um, your possibility of going overboard. Um, don't lay down. So if you've just eaten, do not lay down. Uh, don't go into the, you know, living room and kick back on the recliner and throw on a, I think, football game. That's what they do afterwards, right? They watch football. Oh, he's not even listening to me. I think that, I think a football game or something comes on. I don't know. I don't, I don't do football, obviously, if I don't know that a football game comes on. Um, but you don't want to lie down afterwards because if you're topped off and you're putting a lot of pressure on the esophageal sphincter, you're going to cause that sphincter to open. Food's going to turn around. You're going to get some acid reflux. So definitely don't lie down afterwards. The best thing to do would be take a spin around the block. Go for a little walk, maybe go out in the yard, grab some of the kids and go, run some energy out of them. Take a little spin around the block and that'll help aid in digestion and also help process some of the gas from all the food in the belly. Um, relax. This is a big one. So a lot of people get really stressed out around the holidays. Um, don't. Easier said than done, but try to relax a little. If you're hosting, make sure that you take some time out to enjoy the process. Um, you know, throw, instead of being concerned about, am I getting everything done? Even as you're doing that, throw your favorite, you know, playlist on the radio, listen, sing along. That'll help relax the body. Um, take a walk before everybody comes over, go outside, get some fresh air. Um, and that'll help kind of relax you. The more stressed you are, it's just going to build on top of everything. So uh, start that morning with a nice walk or a workout or go to yoga or go, you know, to kickboxing or whatever you like to do. Um, or even just going for a walk as, you know, the, if you guys are cooking turkey as the turkey's preparing. Um, but if you are hosting, make sure that you're doing your best to kind of relax and calm down before the festivities kick off. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, it it's, I don't really like to go super into uh, don't eat this and don't eat that because realistically Thanksgiving comes around once a year, right? Um, most people do not cook a large elaborate turkey once a year or a large elaborate ham or in my case, a tofurkey. I mean, I think they have them most of the year, but it's really the only time I ever cook it. Um, I don't ever cook, you know, a giant bowl of mashed potatoes and homemade green bean casserole and a homemade pumpkin pie, and I don't know why I'm doing this weird thing with my hands. Um, so enjoy it. Enjoy the food. Enjoy the company. Enjoy the process of family and friends. But don't get stressed out. If you feel like you're getting stressed out, take a step back, relax, do something that's relaxing to the body and the mind. Um, if you're concerned about going overboard or, or gaining a ton of weight, again, realistically, most people don't put on 10 pounds right after Thanksgiving dinner. If you're a couple pounds up, it's usually water weight. It will come off in a couple of days as long as you go back to your normal eating patterns. Um, if you're concerned about overindulging or eating too much, eat before Thanksgiving dinner, have a smaller plate, fill up on the veggie tray, um, Practice mindful eating, so chewing your food thoroughly, putting the fork down, um, making sure that you're sitting down and eating, not playing on your phone, not watching TV, so enjoying the process. Um, and like I said, nobody's going to take your plate from you. It's, you know, um, enjoy it, go slow, and it will prevent you from having three or four servings. You might have one, then you might have seconds. 
uh, and then maybe later you'll have pie. But if you go slow, the slower you eat, the fat, um, better the signals in the body as far as hormone regulation can go and let you know like, hey, I'm, I'm full, I'm getting there. Um, after you've eaten, take a spin around the block, go for a walk, relax a little bit, come back, have some pie, but enjoy the day. Um, don't put a lot of mental or physical constraints on yourself around Thanksgiving. Don't say, I'm going to go and I'm not going to have any pie. Because then if you have pie, you're going to feel really guilty about yourself. It's Thanksgiving. Have a piece of freaking pie. It's okay. Allow yourself a piece of pie or say, you know, I'm only going to have one or two pieces. Or instead of saying, you know, I'm not going to have pie or I'm just going to have one piece, you could say, I'm really going to listen to my body when I go. Um, so instead of overindulging, if I'm feeling full, I'm just going to back off, relax for a bit, and then maybe I'll have some more later. So be gentle with yourself. No negative self-talk that only makes situations worse. Um, but let's be realistic. Don't go into the situation saying, I'm not going to have any pie. Have some pie. It's okay. It's Thanksgiving. Be gentle with yourself, um, but enjoy the process. Oh, Tyra says hi. Hello. Um, so be gentle with yourself, enjoy the process. Don't put, you know, ridiculous constraints around it. Uh, it happens one day a year, have, you know, it's Thanksgiving. But that's it. If you haven't read the blog yet, definitely go read the blog. It goes into much more detail about how to do the particular things that I talked about and not putting constraints around yourself. Um, with that, that is it. I hope you guys have a fabulous Thanksgiving and I will see you guys next Tuesday. I have no idea what we're talking about, but I'm sure it's something. I think it's cholesterol and gut health is what it is, perhaps. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, and that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Have a great Thanksgiving. Enjoy the holiday. Be stress-free. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the food, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.